I'm Kim. I'm Bern. And we're the Gym Gypsies. We are currently traveling through Thailand and we've been in Bangkok for the last couple of weeks now. Uh, we've been doing all of our own grocery shopping as well as eating street food. But we decided it would be a great idea if we would take you through a local grocery store to sh show you what shopping groceries for in Thailand looks like. Tesco and Big C are the main grocery stores here in Bangkok, Thailand. We've been shopping at Tesco and we're gonna take you around the stores to show you some products and compare and contrast between Western shopping and Thai shopping. Welcome to Tesco Lotus. Food prices at the grocery store are very reasonable. So you have all the checkouts here and there's a pharmacy with the orange sign up ahead. This is the hygiene section. Makeup, deodorant, toothpaste, so on and so forth. And then we are coming to the toiletries section. It's very clean and organized, just like at home. And there's a small pharmacy in the store. You can buy alcohol at the grocery store in Thailand. And they have Coca-Cola. You cannot drink the water in Thailand, so we have to buy bottled water. Here we have a six liter jug of water and it would be 29 baht. So that would be like a dollar 15, a dollar 16 for these. And then you could buy over here, this is the best price, Lotus brand water. And there are six 1.5 liters for under $2. So I'm guessing that'd probably be like a dollar 60, dollar 70 maybe. Energy drinks are really popular in Asia and here we wanted to show you that this is like Thailand's version of Red Bull and you get two, four, six, eight, ten. Yep, ten bottles of Red Bull for 79 baht, which is like three dollars and six cents. So ten bottles for three dollars and six cents and I think we pay four dollars for one at home. Obviously, Asia is all about the rice. So this whole wall and this whole wall is all rice. An example. All of it. So this is Lotus brand, kind of like no name brand. And this would be five kilogram bag because everything's in kilograms here, not in pounds. And this would be $5 for a five kilogram bag of rice. That's kind of average. This aisle is like the snack aisle. We haven't tried a lot of these things because that really doesn't interest us. But like, for example, the this package of wafer cookies is $2. Now keep in mind, I noticed that they don't put a lot in their in their boxes. Like it, it looks like there's a lot, but there really isn't. Vern wanted me to show you the chips because he loves chips. Love chips. Okay, so here's like Pringles example. And what flavor do we have here, Vern? Seaweed. We have seaweed chips. This is Mr. Potato, but it's, it's close it's, to the actual Pringles. Probably the same, basically the same. So it's like $2 oh. for a container of chips. So we have seaweed. Like spicy fried chicken. Spicy fried chicken. Sounds good. Cheese. Sour cream and onion. Oh, oh yeah, they have sour cream and onion. Sour cream and onion. Yeah. All right, we found a few more Pringles flavors to show you. Vern, what do you got? I got uh, sweet um, mayo cheese. Sweet Pringles. mayonnaise cheese. I have hot and spicy grilled squid. Mr. Potato, the sweet potato. Barbecued pork. Oh, and that's the lace. spicy lobster. And here we have hot chili squid. That's yum, interesting. Yum, yum. You want to try one of those? You yeah, get two for, do. it's two for one. So two for the price of one. I'll grab two. Really? Okay. We just found crab curry chips. Okay, here is salt and sour chips. That's neat. It looks like um, lemon and salt and seaweed salmon teriyaki. So here we have original Ritz crackers. We all know what those are. And this box would be 
Well, 75 would be $3. So I don't know, 260, 270 for original Ritz. And then we have like this pack would be a dollar of Ritz. And then there's always the no name brand. This would be 40 cents. And you know, I find the no name brand here is like just as good. So we okay, so we wanna show you specifically chocolate bars because chocolate bars here are very expensive. And so here we'll give you an example. Here is a dairy milk bar. This is $3 for this dairy milk bar. That's expensive. Okay, here we have a Lindt chocolate bar, six bucks. And uh, this is 100 grams, so $6. Six, yeah. Here we have Ferrero Rocher chocolates. This is like $20.50. For that box. For that. That's crazy. So, healthy food cheap? Yes, here healthy food is cheap. Non healthy, expensive. And that's the way it should be. I didn't realize this until today, but we have popcorn, microwave popcorn. And one box with three bags is $6, and that's on sale. I love jam. Mixed berry. Mixed berry is like my favorite kind at home. And this little thing of jam is $4 for this little container of jam. Okay, peanut butter, super expensive. So example, Skippy. I'm surprised they actually even have Skippy. They have Jif. And they have Jif. And this is almost eight bucks for this small container. So at home, less than half price for this one. And I'll bake syrup. Oh, chocolate syrup, very expensive. This is almost $8 for this 650 gram container of Hershey's. Cocoa Crunch, this is a super small box. And this is like $4.20 just for this tiny little box of Cocoa Crunch. What do you got? Fruit Loops. $5.50 for this 300 gram box. Not, yeah, 550, yeah. it's almost 550 for that small box. You're right. Um, Unicorn, Unicorn Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops. Okay, it's a little That's cheaper. Five it's bucks. A little cheaper because. Uh, unicorn? It's a unicorn. Okay, I eat a lot of oatmeal. Love oatmeal in the morning. And here's the oatmeal section. The one that I always buy is gone. But this tiny little bag of oatmeal is $2.20. Very expensive. At home, we can get like 2.5 kgs for like under $5. So oatmeal here is really expensive. What about granola? This tiny little bag of granola that's only full till here is almost $4. This entire wall from start to finish is all about soup. I can honestly say Vern and I have not tried one bowl of soup, at least not store-bought bowl of soup, but maybe we should. I don't know. The street food is, uh, soup is so great. Um, yeah, it's hard to buy this stuff when, when you can just go out and get a nice homemade batch of soup. True. I still think we should try one though, just for fun. So yes, they love soup, kind of like Mr. Noodle, right? But different flavors. So just to give you an example, there would be 10 packages of soup in this uh, package for $2. So 10, 10 bowls of soup for two bucks. Thailand loves sauce. And I mean, every kind and any kind of sauce, there's always sauces. I wish I could tell you which one my favorite one is because I do have a favorite one that I love to have on chicken. Um, but I can't read any of this, but they love sauce. All right, Vern just found some dressings here that are like home. So we have Thousand Island, Ranch, Blue Cheese, Caesar. Um, the Caesar one is, Almost four dollars. They're not big. I mean, no, they're tiny. You can see how big they are. They're not big at all. Tiny. I could breathe. Nope. Oh, ketchup! This small bottle of ketchup. And that's Heinz. It's almost six bucks. There are no other kinds. Just Heinz. <laughs> they actually have taco seasoning. We didn't notice this they're until today. Wing, Italian mushroom spaghetti. That's two dollars and mushroom gravy, onion gravy, chicken gravy. They have French's. Mustard. Mustard. 
I mean, a lot of things from back back in Canada here. This is so, the western section. Find, yeah, basically, you can find anything. This small bottle of barbecue sauce is almost four dollars. This entire aisle is about oil because Thai cooking has a lot of oil. That's a lot of oil. Okay, cheese and butter here are really expensive. So here we have 12 slices of cheese for $5. Six slices of cheese is like $2.40. And that's on sale. Butter is also very expensive. We buy this butter and it's almost $4 for this small container or um, block of butter. That one is $6. Here's their milk section. This would be a two liter of milk and it's almost four bucks. Dairy here is really, really pricey. I buy this a lot. It's like a milk yogurt drink and I throw it in my oatmeal in the morning. And this is 34 baht, which is like, I don't know, $1.50. It's really good. Here we have Hagen dazs ice cream, and that little container is over $10. If you want to buy the Lotus brand ice cream, which would be, again, like no name, this is $3 for this container. That's actually not bad. And down here, chocolate is two dollars on sale because it's two for one so it's two of these for four dollars all right let's go check out the meat section and see what we can find all of the fish is kept fresh and on ice fresh prawns octopus Here's a bit of pork, looks pretty normal to me. All of the meat here in the store is uh, in bins, cold and fresh. The bottom of the bin is filled with ice. And so that's how we buy our chicken. Burns just loading up with some fresh chicken for us. Here you can buy liver, hearts, chicken feet, drumsticks of course. Here we have pork leg. I'm seeing some hooves in here and the biggest slabs of bacon that I've ever seen. Here's all the fresh rotisserie chickens I was telling you about. So the price has gone up a little bit here. Right now one of these is five dollars. Um, but here's a bunch for four dollars. 99 bought us four dollars and they're hot and fresh So we're gonna pick one of those up. This is the egg wall They are not in the refrigerator here. They are Bought off the counter eggs have gone up this week by six bought so you get 30 eggs for four dollars and ten cents Some interesting pre-packaged meals you get octopus for two dollars you can have a fish for two dollars. This is jackfruit. It's actually really, really, really good. Look how huge they are. They cut them up and then you can uh, buy them pre-cut. Obviously pre-cut is more money, but you're not gonna buy a whole jackfruit like this. I believe this is pumpkin. There's a lot of pumpkin put into a lot of the foods and it's delicious. My salad yesterday had pumpkin in it. Here we have Thailand pineapples, and one of these pineapples is a dollar and 24 cents. And I can tell you they're the best pineapple I've ever had in my entire life. They're amazing. This small area is the bread section. You don't have many choices. You get white, brown, and then you get these few um, different varieties. And these are like two to three dollars for a tiny little loaf of bread that isn't even as big as my hand. This one's almost four dollars. Just for interest sake, here are some different brands of soap. So for 
four bars of soap would be under two dollars this is the one i bought it's nice this is the women's deodorant section i do not see any solid deodorant everything is roll-on which i personally do not like because you feel wet and sticky and almost all of them have whitening in them because Thai very often have whitening serums in their deodorants, face, face lotions, hand lotions. So this one's $4 and extra brightening. Here's a whitening antiperspirant. This one is one, two, three, four, that's $7 for two. So I guess that's not bad. I bought this brand last time, but it's, like I said, it's a very wet. This is almost $4 for a small one. And I just saw that they have sexy bouquet scent. <laughs> That's kind of cute. I'll apologize later, but women, ladies, they, tampons here are very hard to find. There are mostly pads and a small little box of tampons with nine in them is $4. So really hard to find tampons here. Pads are everywhere, but tampons are a hot commodity and are very hard to find. All right, we're in the toothpaste section. Very different brands from what we would normally have. This would be like $2 and some cents. Again, different brands all around the $2 mark. Pink salt toothpaste, very interesting. Sensitive teeth, gum care. All right, grocery pay time. I think it would be fair to say that everything here is very similar to any other Western grocery store. Just different foods, different varieties of foods, and anything Western or American would be almost double. You do need to bring your own grocery bags to the grocery store. Otherwise, you'll be paying five baht per bag, which is about 10 cents a bag. We've forgotten many times, but we're starting to remember now. And you pack your own groceries here as well. Bye-bye, Tesco Lotus. Until tomorrow. It's hot again. <laughs>